Khan. Okay, Shalom, Shabbat Shalom. First of all, I'd like to give unlimited praises, honor, and glorification to Yahweh, Bahasham, Yahweh Shai. Double honor to the apostles of Great Millstone GMS who rule and teach Yasha Allah well through the Spirit, leading the flock by example. Peace, blessings, and salutations to the Akim pushing this 100% gospel, this good news, the world over, in sincerity, in honesty, and in truth, risking their life for Yahweh, Bahasham, Yahweh Shai's sake. Adawan Rataza, which means Lord willing, you know, so Lord willing, this lesson is edifying. So, um, you know, I came across this article, alright, from uh, Yahoo Finance, dated Sunday the 23rd of July 2023, okay, very recent article. And, uh, you know, it just goes to show you, alright, that these heathens, alright, in particular Esau Edom, the so called white man, alright, that they are our enemies, man. Okay, you know, and they have that mindset, you know, of saying, oh, slavery wasn't so bad, you know, we're all slaves at one point, okay, all right, I'll get over it, that was a long time ago, you know, we've moved on, you know, things like that, and ultimately, you know, we understand it, you know, why, because, you know, we disobeyed Yah Bashim Yah Shai, okay, so he put, his, he put us in slavery, okay, under these heathens, all right, and we went through hardcore bondage, okay, you know, so we were put into slavery, you know, as a nation, you know, as punishment, okay, so if you see this headline, it says, DeSantis says black people bene benefited from slavery by learning skills like being a, bla uh, a blacksmith, see that, okay, you know, this, this is a curse that, you know, came upon us, man, since we disobeyed our power. Alright. <clears throat> so let's get a uh, book of Deuteronomy chapter 28, because these are in the, uh, you know, the curses. In Deuteronomy chapter 28. Uh, Deuteronomy chapter 28, verse 15. But it shall come to pass, right, meaning it will happen, if thou wilt not hearken unto the voice of the Lord Yahweh, thy power, to observe, to do all his commandments and his statutes, which I command thee this day, that all these curses shall come upon thee and overtake thee. Okay. And uh, one of the main ones was this, right at the end of the chapter, verse 68. And the Lord Yahweh shall bring thee into Egypt again with ships, by the way whereof I spake unto thee, thou shalt see it no more again, and there ye shall be sold unto your enemies for bondmen and bondwomen, and no man shall buy you. Okay. <clears throat> you know, so the Lord, you know, he brought us into Egypt again. You know, Egypt representing bondage, slavery. Okay. With what? Ships. So this is the transatlantic slave trade in the scriptures, clear as day, straight to the point. Okay. And it was the Lord that did this. Right, the Lord was the one, you know, to put us into slavery for our punishment to this very day. Okay. It says thou shalt see it no more again. Alright. <clears throat> Speaking about, you know, our homeland, which is, you know, Jerusalem, Israel. Okay. And there you shall be sold unto your enemies for bondmen and bond women. Right? So slave men and slave women. Okay. And no man shall buy you. Alright. Meaning nobody would redeem us from captivity. Alright. Except until our Lord Yahweh Shai returns. That's why it's imperative for us to hasten the day for our Saviour. Okay. Whilst these prophecies are being fulfilled. Alright. Back to the article. Alright. It says, Florida Governor... Ron DeSantis said black people learned beneficial skills as slaves. They're probably going to show that some of the folks that eventually parlayed, you know, being a blacksmith into doing things later in life, DeSantis said at a press conference. Okay. You know, most of these inventions in the world, Jake invented it anyway, man. Okay. So, so you know, we, we, we already knew, you know, how to, you know, invent certain things. All right. You know, like the, the traffic light, okay? 
Even the toilet. We invented that, man. Okay. He saw Edom, he just uh, takes the credit. All right. For what we do. Okay, our, for our forefathers, man, they, they were into the herbs. Okay. You know what? All right, we, we knew. We knew. We made the inventions, man. A lot of them. It says they're probably going to show that some of the... Oh, I read that part already. Florida approved the new African American Studies curriculum that teaches about the personal benefit of slavery. These people, these devils, man, are just their pride is is over is overtaking them. They're literally trying to, <clears throat> you know, <laughs> trying to rub this off as if it never happened. All right, by way of saying it was a beneficial thing. Governor, Governor Ron DeSantis of Florida said black people bene benefited from some of the skills they learned in slavery and students in the state will soon learn about that personal benefit in Florida's education curriculum. Alright. You know, our people, man, we so-called Negroes, Latinos and Native Americans and Israelite foreigners, speckled birds, who were the true biblical Hebrew Israelites, you know, you subconsciously and consciously, alright, and indirectly, constantly look up to the so-called white man. Right, you envy him. You try to be like him, live like him, move like him, speak like him. All right, and even th you know think like them. All right, that's why scripture says, "Envy thou not the oppressor, and choose none of his ways." Man. All right, we ain't supposed to emulate the so-called white man. All right, <laughs> you know a lot of our people use Esau Edom as a as a stick of measurement. As a way to measure how successful you know they are in life whether that being in your career all right or the education you know because our people you know choose and chase the bag more than the lord okay which this system you know is set up against us this place is not our rest okay the lord will destroy the so-called white man's infrastructure and his society according to the scriptures by way of nuclear destruction okay you know, we're not black people, like it says. We ain't black people. Okay. It's another <clears throat> derogatory term they put on us. You know, black is a colour. Alright. And it's a, a social construct that were invented by this Edomite woman, Edomite woman, sorry, in um, the state of Virginia, 1681. Okay. Because in, in the past... Right, people never identified themselves by colour, all right? It was by their clans, their tribes, their nation. All right? And black means void of light. So it's a negative connotation, man. Alright. We had a true Hebrew Israelites of the Bible. Alright, from our perspective tribe. Okay. Let's get scripture to prove prove this. In Second Corinthians chapter 11 and verse 22 which reads and this is apostle paul speaking here are they hebrews so am i are they israelites so am i are they the seed of abraham so am i okay so that's our true identity all right hebrew be now native tongue and israel be now native land okay and yes it's about bloodline and lineage Right, that's going back through Abraham, Isaac and Jacob. Right, that's what makes us Israelites by descending from Abraham, Isaac and Jacob. The bloodline going back through your father. Right? Just like what makes the so called white man Esau is him descending from Abraham, Isaac and Esau. Right? Uh, precept I can get as well. Um in the book of Jonah uh, this is Jonah chapter 1 verse 9 that's it and he said unto them I am a Hebrew and I fear the Lord Yahweh the power of heaven which has made the sea and dry land so there we go man okay Jonah himself, a prophet, was a Hebrew Israelite. Hebrew Israelite. Alright. 
get back to the article. See, this article is just mockery. Alright? And it's not going to, you know... It's not going to, um, you know, Esau Edom's not going to, you know, get away with this. He's just trying to cover up his, his shame. It's not working. The Florida's Department of Education on Wednesday approved the new curriculum for the state's African American Studies program in public schools, with instru which instructs students on the personal benefit of slavery to Israelite people. They're probably going to show that some of the folks that eventually parlayed, you know, being a a blacksmith into doing things later in life. Okay, that's what DeSantis said. All right. The state's curriculum standards for the African American Studies course says students will learn how slaves develop skills, which in some instances could be applied for their personal benefit. Yes, this is vexing just reading this, you know. As well, honestly. Again, man, this is this is just mockery. You know, and they can set up all the, you know, programs, all right, courses, they can do all the, the funding and marching in the world, but that won't stop it. That won't stop the destruction of Babylon the Great. That won't stop, stop um, you know, Esau Edom getting, getting judged, getting his judgment, all right, which is destruction. Instead, this will... Let's get Revelation chapter 13 and verse 9 through 10. Alright. Because this is justice right here, man. Alright. This is true reparations right here. Revelation chapter 13 and verse 9. If any man have an ear, let him hear. Verse 10, he that leadeth into captivity shall go into captivity. He that killeth with the sword must be killed with the sword. Here is the patience and the faith of the saints. Okay. Who sold us on auctioning blocks? Alright, who sold us on slave ships? Which they had a ship called the good ship Jesus. Alright. So you know Christianity is a, is a major false uh, religion. That's the Broadway. Alright. So who, who did this to the 12 tribes of Israel? Alright. So-called white man, along with these heathens that, that, you know, took part, that collaborated together. Alright. Okay, and they're all going into slavery, man. This is their first Maccabees chapter 2. In verse 10, which reads, What nation hath not had a part in her kingdom and gone of her spoils? That's right. You know, these are the heathen nations, man. They took part in our slavery and downfall to this very day. Benefit, uh, benefiting from it. Okay. Right to this day, man. Let's get Revelation. Yeah, Revelation 13 again, verse 10. All right. He that leadeth into captivity shall go into captivity. All right. So those who put us in slavery will go into slavery. He that killeth with the sword must be killed with the sword. All right. Those who killed us with the sword must be judged with the sword. All right. Here is the patience and the faith of the saints. And who are the saints? The Israelites. Okay. And that's the patient of the saints. You know, and that's the gospel, man. That's what we have hope in, in these words of the Bible. Because they are faithful and true. All right, and it's prophecy as well, so it must come to pass. You know. Let's get uh, Romans chapter 9, verse 13, which reads... As it is written, Jacob have I loved, but Esau have I hated. Right? You know, Jacob had 12 sons. Alright? And, you know, and each tribe is a nation, man. Going back to the Israelites, so called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans, man. Right? Yahab Hashem El Shai. Right? Loves the Israelites. Okay? Beginning with the elect on this side. Alright? 
the ones of our people, you know, who <coughs> don't make it on this side will come through the elect in the kingdom. Alright. Those children. Okay. But Esau, you know, Yahabah Shemashai hates Esau. So called white man. So that's a cut man. God doesn't love everybody, only the Israelites. Again, beginning with the elect on this side, man. Verse 14, what shall we say then? Is there unrighteousness with Yahweh? Yahweh forbid. Okay, so the Lord ain't wrong. Okay. Verse 15, for he said to Moses, I will have mercy on whom I will have mercy, and I will have compassion on whom I will have compassion. There you go, man. So the Lord does what he wants. Simple as. Let's get uh, Isaiah chapter 47. Verse 3, straight to the point, which reads, Thy nakedness shall be uncovered, yea, thy shame shall be seen. I will take vengeance, and I will not meet thee as a man. That's right, man, because Yahweh Shai, when he comes back, man, straight up destruction. Alright, to Esau, Edom, and his, his society, and his kingdom. Babylon the Great will only, will only get destroyed in an hour. It's only going to take the Lord an hour, America. Alright. <clears throat> and also, you know, a huge part of their shame is having the Israelites, you know, so called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans, right, in slavery. Okay. They're ashamed of their own history, these Edomites. That's why they're trying, you know, to change the narrative so badly. You know. You know, and every everything is being uncovered. You know, the theft, robbery, wickedness, everything. And people are waking up, okay? So back to the article again. It says, the law was intended to push back against the supposed teaching of critical race theory, examining how America's history of racism and discrimination continues to impact the country today in public schools. And America was established on racism, all right? So it's gonna <coughs> meet its end by destruction. Okay, so uh, you know, I'm gonna leave it right there. Lord willing, this lesson was edifying to the elect. Again, double honor to the apostles of Great Millstone. And with that, all praises, glorification, and honor goes to Yahweh, Bahasham, Yahweh Shai, Kwam Yasharala, Wa Abad Babal, Shabbat Shalom to the elect.